Nå vil de innse det er en tur med Connor. Hi. Um, so, Connor has picked this video today, and he thought it would be a good idea to show um, you guys what he thinks has been the best place, um, best, like, basically the team season, team, team season. This season in the VPL. Yeah, so. So I really hope you do agree with my choices. So first of all, in goal, we have, no, we have, we have David De Gea. And I'm sure you do agree with me. He has probably had the best season of his entire career. At the start of the season, you'll probably think, lots of people are probably thinking that he wasn't even going to have a good season. However, if you think about it, the progress he's made, he he, he's had a, he, he could have a possible move to Real Madrid which, and be playing instead of Ike Casillas, which is probably a really big thing. But I would like him to stay in Manchester United. Because yeah, I think he will. However, we do have... I think it's likely he will stay at Manchester United. I think Manchester United will miss him when he, if he does go. Yeah. And it could affect them in a way. Like they miss Ronaldo. A bit, yes. So in in our first centre back, obviously it will be John Terry. And so John Terry is getting a bit old now. Mm -hmm. He's out thirty five. No, 34. And, however, he, of course, he did get him a season card, which is 90 rating overall is 9 better as his normal card, which is like a big improvement for him. So, overall, he now has 97 defense and 94 physical, which is probably outstanding by his age, if you know what I mean. And of course, he's got now he's got a four star weak foot and four star weak foot, which is actually quite good. So yeah, he's probably stepped up this season, and this season's been probably one of his best seasons over the past few years. And so, in set to pack next to Terry is, is Gary Cahill, and I, I don't think Gary Cahill did get a team this season card. To be honest, but I am shocked about it. Because out of any other centre back apart from John Terry, he's probably had a really good season as well. So yeah, I think he's underrated on FIFA to be honest. Uh, he and Terry worked r very good, very well together this year, and he's actually still quite young. He's like only about twenty or thirty. Uh, oh no, he's thirty. Okay, so he's a bit old. He's still thirty. He's still got a few more years left in his career. So yeah, I think he'll have a. Re Another good career ahead of him. Another good few seasons ahead of him. So yeah. And now in left back, we have got as the Aquetta. Yeah, as the Aquetta. How do you pronounce that? As the Aquetta says, as the Aquetta, and def definitely he's left back because, of course, um, earlier they. Chelsea also got, as, as well as Costa, they also got Philip Louise. However, as Lequette has done well to keep his place in the starting lineup, so therefore, I don't think Philip Louise even had a really good season. As Lequette now has like 88 rating on defence and 86 on pace, he's just had a really good season, working well with Hazard on the wing. So that's why I think he deserved the team of the season card, which I think he did. So that's really good for him. And in the right back, we have got Zab Zabaleta. Now, I was having the... Because Zabaleta didn't get Team of the Season card, I don't think. He, I think he got it in four months. However, it was sort of like a battle with, between him and Ivanovic. However, I chose him. Even though Ivanovic is a really good player, I don't think he had a really good season this season as Zabaleta. Even though I do think Ivanovic is probably the better player, I think Zabaleta had... A better season than Ivanovic, so that's why I chose him. And now, in the left mid, it's, a, it's no doubt it's the it's the player of the year. Hazard. Hazard. Of course, this is the the best team of the season card you get for the BPL. 
He's actually quite small, five foot eight. He's very young. I I'm think he's got. Huh? I'm taller. No, you're not. Nearly. <laughs> Nearly. So yeah, he's actually quite short. So yeah. So yeah, he's now got good skills. He's got four skill moves and four weak foot, which is good for him. I think he's done like very well. Like I said before, he's like he works really well with Cesar Aspilicueta, and I think he's probably one of the main reasons that Chelsea got in got the title. So yeah. So uh, then next to Hazard, oh this seems mainly Chelsea. It says our Fabregas. However you pronounce that as well. It says it says Fabregas. He's had a very dominant season coming back to the BPL. So yeah, he's not, he's really good at passing, and he can score really powerful goals. So yeah, I think he's had a really good comeback to the BPL after going to the BBVA for the next, for the past few years. So yeah. I think he deserves to the season card. However, he has been a bad boy. <laughs> he has got a red card. Throw, trying to throw a ball at the referee. Oh dear. So next to Hazard. Oh. That, that's all the Chelsea's done. So then we've got Henderson. Who I think is probably what, as well as Kane's like, it's, if, with the exception of Kane. Probably the young player of the year, PFA young player of the year, because he's literally like stepped up this year now. Capt like sort of like to captain Liverpool with Gerrard going out then and now. I think he's like stepped up the role of being captain, and I think he'll have a few good career in the England squad. Hopefully he will go to the Euros, which I think will be a good choice for Roy Hodgson. So yeah, I think he could be the next season Gerrard one day. As he's been so dominant this season. And then, of course, we've got Sanchez, who in his first season in the BPL has gone to Arsenal. And he's had a very dominant season, I'd say. In his like, first half of the season, I think he got 13 goals. And he also scored like a really a cracking goal in the FA Cup final to help them win the FA Cup. And he's tiny. Yeah. He's 5'7", he's even tinier than Hazard. And I've also seen him play. I've seen him play. Really? Yeah, um, you know when Bison in the FA Cup, when Bison played Arsenal at home. Really? So, I, I, Sanchez was a substitute. He, did, he actually did okay. He did okay. Trust, I, trust, I do not like Thomas Vizzisky. However, yeah, Sanchez deserves team of the season, definitely. And the strikers. This is a definite for me. So, we've got Aguero. Aguero. I know what I haven't got. So, he's... Yeah, he's had his best season in the Premier League by far. Look at his stats. They're really good. He... I think... It's been a very good competition between him and Costa. He's definitely out to Costa by far. To be honest, Costa hasn't exceeded our expectations, really. Because Costa's a bit older than Aguero, and Aguero's like, quite speedy and fast. However, Costa got onto a very good good start this, at the beginning of the season, scoring like 11 goals. However, the... The rest of the season, he's just done nothing, to be honest. He, has, he hasn't hit any goals. I don't know if it's injuries or that, but he hasn't had a good season. However, Guerra was outstanding, scoring goals then and now. So, yeah, he definitely deserves the team team. And finally, the mo probably the one that was, surprisingly, was Harry Kane. He... Like, stunned everybody this season. He's, I'm lost for words. He's scored 21 goals and he's only 22. So, yeah, he, he, could, yeah. he could be a, 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 an amazing player. Well, no, he's 21. Amazing. So, he's, he's 21. Wait. His birthday's in the next few weeks. <sighs> so, yeah, yeah. 
he's just been an outstanding player. He'll just do amazing for England, I have to say. He, I think he definitely has a possibility of going to the Euros. In fact, I'll be surprised if he's not in the Euro team. Because he's done amazing. So, yeah. So, guys, that's the team. And, of course, manager will be Jose Mourinho. He's had a really good season. So, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching. Bye.